Welcome back to Wake Up Northwest. In this week's Madeline Motivates, checking in on our mental health is always important, right? Especially after losing a loved one. While attending this year's Miss Sunnyside pageant, I met a woman named Julia Hart, who recently suffered a big loss of her own. I reconnected with her to see how she's doing and find out what it takes to move forward. Well, Julia, your story, it has really stayed with me ever since I met you at the Miss Sunnyside pageant. Um, unfortunately, I mean, you lost your daughter about a year ago, a little over a year ago now. And I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about what Sarah was like. People loved her. I mean, she had the best smile she did. She just had the most beautiful smile. She was a giver. Oh, my God. The, the grandkids called her uh, Auntie Claus. And she would start in July asking them what to make their Christmas list. She was a giver. She just had a huge old heart. Would you be able to talk a little bit about what happened to Sarah? She had blood clots in, in, her, um, in her lungs. She goes into the kitchen and I hear the water running and everything. And I, I hear a big, big boom. And I rush in the kitchen to find out what's, first I holler for her. I said, Sarah, are you okay? And then I don't hear anything. And then I go in and I go, there she is on the floor and she's making this horrible noise. and and she's unconscious. They finally got her on the uh, stretcher and they took her out to the, to the ambulance. And I wanted to go with them. I was set to go with them. They go, Julia, you can't. You can't go, go because of the pandemic. And I go, oh God, this is, this is wrong. This is so wrong. And about 15 minutes after they got her to the hospital, the doctor called me from the ER to tell me that she was gone. No parent. I feel should ever have to lose a child. No, no. You know, you 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 lose your parents, but when your child dies, she was supposed to take care of me. We talked about what happened, and we talked about how that made you feel. But Julia, what I admire about you and what I saw when I met you is your will to keep moving forward, despite you know going through this experience of losing your daughter. I saw you attending the Miss Sunnyside pageant. That was a tradition of yours and Sarah's for years. Yeah. What is it? If, is there something that keeps you going even after her loss? You've got to remember the good things. I mean, you can't dwell on your personal loss because she wouldn't want you to. I did something crazy this summer. I went out and bought myself a camper van because Sarah liked to travel. She loved to plan trips. Sarah would want me to continue to do the things that make me happy. And in my own way, I'm continuing to do things that made her happy. And, and that, that really helps a lot. That helps a lot. Hmm. Yeah, Julia is such a strong example for all of us. You know, going through something like that is not easy. And she says, it's okay to cry. You need to take the time to do that. And then you can start celebrating the life of the person that you've lost. Doing so can give you a glimmer of motivation, even when moving forward may seem impossible.